Uh, Charleston Brain. The human brain is a machine for coming to conclusions. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a. It's not a machine for coming to conclusions. It's just a machine to keep us alive and to solve. It is to solve problems, but solving problems is not the same as coming to conclusions. If we can, if it cannot come to conclusions, it is rusty. But conclusions are an illusion because there's no conclusion in reality. Everything just continues to exist. Everything just continues to change. Like night turns to day, days turn, turns turns to night. There's no there's no ending. Like there's no final answer, really. So we just I mean in all the in all of human history we keep finding more and more knowledge, and there's no there's no end to the knowledge. There's always more to find. So it's just there's no conclusion. You just keep keep learning and keep learning and keep learning and keep learning, and it just goes on forever. I mean, you try to draw conclusions, but they're but those are approximations. Those are just kind of convenient points. They're not really there. Like there's no there's no ending to reality. Um, when we hear of a man too clever to believe, we are hearing of something having almost the character of a contradiction in terms. It is like hearing of a nail that was too good to hold down a carpet. Or a bolt that was too strong to keep a door shut. That makes no sense. Why? See, you—that—that's—that's that's starting from a conclusion, and then going back to the to the premise. Like, why? Why are why are people like nails or bolts? You're assuming that we were created for a purpose. So you're you're assuming that God exists, and if God exists, then. The men who don't believe are weird, but then you're you're starting from the the conclusion. You're not starting from the uh, from the from the facts. Uh, man can hardly be defined after the fashion of Carlyle as an animal who makes tools. Ants and beavers and many other animals make tools in the sense that they make an apparatus. Man can be defined as an animal that makes dogmas. Ah. Uh, I hate dogmas. As he piles doctrine on doctrine and conclusion on conclusion in the formation of some tremendous scheme of philosophy and religion, he is, in the only legitimate sense of which the expression is capable, becoming more and more human. No, no. Well, y yeah, but but a stupid human. <laughs> like, if you have to keep. Piling on more and more things. I mean, there's there's a difference between making up more and more stuff and finding out more and more stuff, right? Doctrine. No, <laughs> these these people they're so unscientific. I mean, they live in a time when when their grasp of science is so weak that they this doctrine on doctrine. You, you you don't define the world just by saying what is. All right, it doesn't work like that. The world is something else, independent of you, no matter what you believe. Um. When he stops one doctrine after another in a refined skepticism, when he declines to tie himself to a system, when he says that he is has outgrown definitions. When he says that he disbelieves in finality, when in his own imagination he sits as God, holding no form of creed but contemplating all, then he is by that very process sinking slowly backwards into the vagueness of the vagrant animals and the unconsciousness of the grass. Trees have no dogmas. Turnips are singularly brain. Uh, turnips are singularly broad-minded. Oh, <laughs> this guy has everything back to front. Amazing. Amazing! He has everything back to front. <laughs> the look, a a thing that that imagines that the world is full of demons and ghosts and angels and gods. They're the animals. <laughs> like the 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 things that look on the world and don't understand what is there, they are in fact closer to animals. You know, like you look at thunder and you think, "Oh, that must be Odin," or no, Thor. That must be Thor striking his hammer. 
No, this is... No, you... <laughs> you... 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 That, that's not what makes you human. <laughs> I mean... Alright, let's just carry on. <laughs> uh, Brostein brain. The human brain is a product of the development of matter. Development of matter? No, no, matter doesn't develop. Life develops. Um, at the same time, it is an instrument for the cognition of this matter. Gradually, it adjusts itself to its function, tries to overcome its limitations, creates ever new scientific methods. Imagine ever more complex and exact instruments. Checks its work again and yet again, step by step penetrates into previously unknown depths. Changes our conception of matter without through ever breaking our way from this basis of all that exists. Okay, but I mean... Yeah, okay. Right. Neuroscience. Uh, physiological history. Volunteers suffered a blood clot during infancy which resulted in a left hemisphere stroke. Expected result. In normal adults, the left hemisphere is used for language and other cognitive functions. Extensive damage to this part of the brain usually results in severe cognition, cognitive deficiencies. Ah, but it's, a, it's an infant. So when you're younger, your brain is more malleable. So, observed result. Volunteer is now 17 years old and displays only very subtle cognitive de deficiency. MRI indicate little to no activity in the left hemisphere, suggesting its usual functions have been taken on by neuron sets in the right. Volunteer's age at the time of their stroke may have helped the brain to adapt. Yeah. So because when you are a baby, your brain is much, much more malleable than when you are as an adult. Like your brain is basically not formed fully yet when you're a baby. And as you grow up, you you kind of... Uh, you, you kind of gather information into the brain and the brain kind of adjusts itself to the world around it. So if you have a stroke as an adult, all the things you've learned is gone. Like all the things you learned in that part of the brain is gone. Right? Whereas as a baby, you start off with nothing anyway. So since the, the left part of the brain was not available to learn anything, then you, the, the brain just put all the other stuff in the other, in all the stuff in the other parts of the brain. And it's perfectly fine. <laughs> so because the baby starts out with very little anyway, it just means that the brain has to use other parts to, to learn things. And it, it, and it adapts. So having a stroke when you're a baby is uh, much, much less harmful than having a stroke when you're an adult. And especially if you have a stroke when you're old, then you just kind of you just lose things. And there's no recovery. All right, so we're reading a little bit about the, the brain. Imagine believing that making up dogmas is what defines humanity. What a terrible world to live in if that was the, if that was the case. Wow. Uh, the voice keeps saying that this world is a garden, but all I see is a desert full of ruins. True. Dog is very observant. Uh, is there a star in here? I feel like there should be a star in here. Apparently there are things you can click on and doors will open. I don't know if that's like an easter egg or if that's an actual thing where things might be hidden. Is that a... is that a cannon? What is that sound? Is it a star? That's what cannons sound like, right? Oh, that's a that's a fan. Holy crap! There's a fan thing here. But I need a. Oh crap! <laughs> there's a there's a fan thing. Uh, where's it blowing though? It's pointed up. Uh, how do I get up there? Hold on, can I jump onto one of these walls? Can I jump onto... I can't see a thing. How on earth do I... Wait a minute, is this... Oh, wait a minute. Is the star in here? I 
I don't I don't see a star in there, but there seems to be like a a different texture on the wall there. I don't know if that's a, a thing or not. Oh no, it's just that texture there. Ah, uh, apparently there's a fan over there. Unless I can go underneath the water. No, no, I can't. Um, interesting notion. Is there something here? No. Can I jump onto that? I feel like I should be able to, like from here, jump up to there. But apparently not. And if I get up there, is the star up there or what's going on? Alright, so there's a fan here. And I have no idea what any of that means. Something to keep in mind if we ever find out. And it's not even a fan, it's just the uh, the motor for the fan. So we still have to find the, the actual fan blades to plug into that thing. Uh, I can jump up here apparently. No, I can jump up here. I can... It's pretty close though, isn't it? Why can't I do this? Feel like I should be... Oh, here we go. I we found this is the second one we found, and we still don't know how to use it. What does that say? Insert the key, keys please. Keys please. Insert the key, pull the handle, and watch. We don't have any keys. Um. I don't know. Alright, so this is, this is another thing that we found that we can't use. Uh, there's a thing here, what is this? The answers to your questions will not be given to you, you must seek them yourself. Well thanks, Shepard. That's, uh, that's not a very Shepard-like thing to say, is it? I thought Shepards are supposed to give us stuff, or show us stuff, or lead us somewhere not tell you to do it yourself. Uh, have we come back to where we started yet? Do we start here? We started here. Alright, well, there's a fan thing, there's a, there's a binoculars thing, and I don't even know how any of that stuff is relevant to us. I suspect the fan thing is is where the star is, unless the star is like here. But um, I don't know how to get to it. What is this? There's nothing here though. It's like a missing puzzle. Somehow. Uh, okay, nothing there. Let's do these puzzles, shall we? Slightly elevated sigil. Fan, a box, and a... And a connector. Detach fan. We need to look for a way to get a fan out of here. Alright, just keep that in mind. Get a fan out, maybe also get a box out. So the fact that there's a box... Well, there's no box here, my bad. There's a fan, there's a connector, and... Oh no, there is a box here. Alright. So maybe we can bring the box and the fan out of this place. We'll see. Um... Alright, there's more connectors. Let me just connect those. Grab this thing. Alright, I've got this. And we have to. We have to line up those, I guess. Alright, well, let's uh, put that. Put 
that there. Put this. There. And then put... Actually, shouldn't that be... Oh, never mind. Put that... Uh, close. Crap. <laughs> I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let me just break that. So this needs to be that and that. And we put that there. No, what are you doing? That and that. And put that there. And then we join that and that. And that stays connected. And then we take... That and that. Uh, well, kind of. Take that and that there. 